Tesla submitted more documents to the FCC and what this means for the hardware, radar and possibly as well ultrasonic sensors. We're going to look at it right now. I'm very happy to have you here today. If you're new, do consider subscribing and we will look into the letter first and then go into a few more details. Now it's a very complicated topic. If there are any mistakes from my side, uh, please do consider correcting myself. I do my best to be as correct as possible. So we have here a device that will not be marketed until mid-January. That date passed already. To, to avoid any unnecessary discrimination closures and competitive harm. They want that everything is closed until the 7th of February. So that is today. So we might expect maybe updates between today and the 1st of March. More rumors, more details. Uh, we haven't seen them yet. And because I believe on the 1st of March, when the event is happening, we're going to know a few more details about this new device. I do believe it is a new hardware, and I believe it is the hardware that might go into the Cybertruck, which would um, make sense because on the event, they might talk a bit more detailed about the Cybertruck and a new product. So that would make a lot of sense um, to hold that back. And I do expect Tesla not to um, launch anything um, with this information here um, for the ultrasonic sensors. We also have um, 17 match matches found and with that four documents here um, that are actually supposed to be available on the 7th of March. Now, this is again an interesting date because it's a week after the event, which would, would make way more sense than the date of the 7th of February, but maybe that was a mistake. Um, so let's see how this is going to work out. Now, when it comes to the um, details, you see the label location, you see um, some sort of um, areas in blue um, that might indicate um, how the radar is going to work in the hardware, so the new hardware. Um, but many people also hope for a solution when it comes to the ultrasonic sensors. Uh, me personally, I don't believe that this one here right now is going to be the solution because it would indicate you need something new, a new device to make it possible in cars that don't have um, the ultrasonic sensors. Um, so this is the point here where I believe um, this is for hardware 4. It is a wireless product, so without any cables um, that they're going to um, install. And I think that Tesla has to find a separate solution for a software update and move forward with a software update for all cars that don't have ultrasonic sensors and then find a solution already in more um, modern cars or like the Cybertruck um, to move forward with this new hardware. So I believe that is going to be the case. Lots of people have lots of hope into a solution for the USS. Now, again, imaging radar, this is written in German. I'm going to translate you, but imaging radar has way more power it can um, actually be very, very good. And so that might be the reason why it is a wireless product. Um, so we have to see um, how this is um, going to play out. I don't see any realistic chance yet that this entire paper here that we just saw and the details that this is indicating that a USS or so ultrasonic sensor solution is going to come. So Tesla has to fix that separately. And I think the ultrasonic sensor um, topic uh, is connected with the FSD beta update because they could use this knowledge of the new FSD beta to um, put the software as well and make it capable in those that don't have SSD, FSD beta. So that might be as well reason why it is um, taking so long. And we do know that the newest version um, actually might come out in a few days or a week, as Elon Musk said um, today or last night. So you see lots of confusion here. I think for us, the most best time is to wait for 1st of March. I'm not going to post any updates anymore regarding this topic until then, because anything else will be speculation. But those documents are now publicly available at the FCC. Um, you can check it out um, as well. 
Now, um, we're going to look forward to other interesting topics like, for example, delivery times. Of course, we are now in February, so f delivery times are moving backwards, um, but we still have strong um, availability. And this is a good sign. I believe it is because competitors in Germany um, are having huge, huge wait times. And so more and more people are thinking, well, I can choose um, a good car from Tesla. I can get it very soon right now barely any delivery times um, or wait times and I might even pay less money. I mean, this is crazy if you think about it. So um, Tesla has now certain delivery times which are for the Model Y in the standard range version from China, not from Giga Berlin. Um, this is two to five weeks for the Model Y performance. We are at 18 to 21 weeks. And this is as well because a lot of people here, depending on the color, are still might work and wait for Quicksilver, which is already produced, or for the blue and the um, new red. So um, this is very important to consider as well. Now let's look into the EV charging rate based on ARK Invest. We are seeing milestone after milestone 2022, 50 minutes to charge for 200 miles again. Keep in mind, and this is what many people forget and um, other car makers out there are trying to advertise fast charging. But keep in mind, you have to do it in a healthy state for the battery. So um, I, I, I do enjoy fast charging, but only under the circumstances that um, the brand, whatever brand it is, if it's BYD, Tesla or any other one, um, is very aware that the battery has to last for long. Um, so for China, we see that BYD with hybrid cars, to be honest with you, um, is in a lead here. They have um, a strong brand and they are moving forward um, and they are also moving forward in Europe. We see more and more cars here. Um, so um, this is a very good sign as well. Now um, we have more information when it comes to the Tesla stock. We are currently trading at around one hundred and ninety seven dollars when it comes to the euro price we are of course a bit lower um, so don't get confused about that i believe we're going to see some updates here in today's trading day um, if we are lucky um, we could break the 200 which is currently the barrier to move through and once 200 is broken um, in dollar in this case um, I think then we have a lot of upside, upside towards 250 and forward. So um, there's lots of room to go with. Um, and I believe that Tesla with the investor day um, might actually um, get even higher. Um, the record is at close to 410, 415 dollars. Um, so let's see until when we're going to reach that. That's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm very glad to have you here today again. Um, if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing, as I mentioned before. If you want to have more news from me from Germany, um, considering here a different perspective as a European citizen. So thank you very much for being here today. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. And hopefully I see you back here tomorrow with another video. So thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.